Hey, learn audio engineering. In this video, you'll learn five tips to ensure that you record the best performance from your vocalist. There's always exceptions to the rules and singers are all different and they're all picky. Let me know in the comments your favorite tips for getting the best vocal performance. To help you remember these tips and more, grab the free vocal recording cheat sheet in the description of this video. Let's jump into it. Number one, X marks the spot. Put a rug or a marker on the floor for your singer and they will stay there. They're like cats, give them a box and they'll stay put. That way you're in control of the distance between the singer and the mic. Untrained or primarily live singers tend to stand too close to condenser mics. Dynamic mics, which are often used in live sound, are less sensitive, which requires the vocalist to sing closer to the mic. With condenser mics, you could be up to five feet away when finding the right sound. Oh, so I'm sorry for breaking your untreated or cramped spaces, use a vocal shield to eliminate reflections before they reach the mic. Number two, dynamic breakdown. Break down your song by dynamics. Record louder sections with a greater distance between the vocalist and the microphone. Loud sounds will excite the space they're in and can be a great source of realism if you have a nice space to track in. Record quiet sections closer to the mic for a more intimate sound. This is also helpful when recording in small or untreated spaces where the room sound is undesirable. Breaking up these sections by dynamics allows the vocalist to be at the best distance for each vocal delivery and record multiple takes of each section before moving on. This will give you similar takes to make your vocal comp easier. Number three, thirsty singers are bad singers. Water helps hydrate your vocal cords and keep the fullness in your singer's voice. When possible, have hot and cold liquids available for your singer to sip on. Stay away from dairy and sugary drinks as they increase mucus production and can cause voice cracks and phlegm. Water and tea are the safest choices. Depending on where you live, humidifiers are a cheap and easy way to add moisture to the air. Just remember to turn it off before recording. Number four, never play back a dry soloed vocal. A little reverb goes a long way because many singers aren't used to hearing their vocal isolated. So quickly choose a reverb or a delay before they come in to listen to the playback. Whenever possible, take notes while tracking to easily choose an acceptable take. Singers are picky. You wanna make them have a good time. Number five, match the mic to your singer. Just because a mic sounded good on someone else doesn't mean it will sound good on your vocalist. Experiment with mic options. If you can, set up two mics and save them both for editing, but choose one for playback in the session. You may find another use for the second mic, for an effect, a harmony part, or a blend between both. Keep exploring to find which mics work best with your singer. And remember, there are no wrong answers. For me, I prefer an advanced audio CM47, which is the mic you can see here. It has the perfect balance of quality sound, professional look, and an unbeatable price. For these tips and more, remember to grab the free vocal recording cheat sheet in the video description below. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Learn Audio Engineering. I'm Alexa, thanks for watching and happy tracking.